Hello Leo, thank you very much for tuning into this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. I didn't see our website for that one, but I think it's a newer deck, so you should easily be able to find it, I believe, if you're really looking for it. Alright, Supportive Oracle Cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacy DeMarco. This one does have a website, rockpoolpublishing.com.au. It's down here at the bottom, if I can get it to focus for you. That way, if you want to find that, you can find that. Okay. Let's just move these over here quick. What do we have for Leo? So you got assessing at the bottom. I don't always do the bottom card, but I'm getting like, this is all about assessing what's coming forward for you. Um, waiting for the right situation, not just something that's right there for you at the moment. Um, I feel like we need better. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom. Ace of Wands. Be careful of this. Um, ironically for Leo, it's kind of like, there may be opportunities in front of you where you can just be like, all right, I can move on from this. There's something I can that's good enough. I feel like the good enough energy is there. They're saying don't settle for good, good enough in whatever this is. Like good enough is not good enough. Keep assessing what's available to you. You've got a lot of opportunities coming forward, but it's just like you need to do like that, you know, that three bears thing, Goldilocks and the three bears thing. You know what I mean? Kind of like if it's not just right, don't don't take it. If it's too too hot, too cold, too soft, too hard, whatever, don't take it. When it's just right for you, then take it. Because they feel like you're kind of like, well, that's all right. That'll be good enough, and I'll just do it. I don't want to sit around here and wait my whole life away, so I'll just take that. Don't do that. Um, don't move too quickly. Because I'm getting you are moving on from something. And what I'm getting is like your life is getting better from the moving on. Um, when you're moving on from that with the Six of Swords and the Nine of Cups, I feel like immediately, as soon as I move on, I feel like a big weight has been lifted. A lot of things feel a lot better to me. Um, I feel more comfortable with myself and my situation. Even though it might not be ideal, I just feel like I'm more in control. Not that you are out of control, but like I have less I have to deal with. And I'm also getting this, the gratitude with the Four of Swords. Take this time to heal and assess what you really want. Don't take something just because it's there and it's good enough. We don't want good enough. Good enough is literally not good enough. I know that might sound weird. You know what I mean? Just because it's good enough, it's literally not. Like they're saying, we need to get, we need to get the actual level you deserve. Um, and I, I didn't realize that Leo did that. But I also understand you guys move forward. You don't like to just sit there and do nothing. So you want, you like to keep moving. I understand that, and you like to like. I don't want to just sit here and wait my life out my life away, for just like the most ideal situation. I understand that. Um, but I'm getting like, it's about what you want, not what somebody else wants, which is still shocking me. I just feel like this is going to sound really bad, maybe, but you shouldn't be negotiating in the next part. You need to find something that's already like, you don't have to negotiate because whatever you're going into matches your thoughts. So like if you feel like you have to negotiate or somebody's like, well, that's not really what I want. If you're going into something like that, that's probably not for you. The next thing you're going towards should match better. Because um, what I have coming forward, like you're setting the stage. There's three cards here, so I'm just trying to figure out. The reason you la left the last situation is because you had to constantly fight to make things work out. Things would be good when you fought to make them work out. Things would be good when you bent over backwards and you sacrificed stuff. You, I feel like you were the one sacrificing. I feel like you sacrificed a lot when I'm seeing these three cards. You've got, you know, the Two of Cups, everything was great on the outside. The Nine of Pentacles, things were very solid. But the Queen of Swords in the back is saying you had to keep fighting for it. You had to keep putting it there. You had to sacrifice a lot to make sure it would work out. That hit a spot where that just wasn't going to be good enough anymore and you left it. It was good for what it was when it was, but it's kind of like, I don't need another situation that's the same as that. I already did that. I learned what I needed to learn. I did what I needed to do. I don't really need to repeat that. And you're in a place where you're feeling really good. If I, I feel like for those of you this is going to hit for, you're in a place in this, in this subject, for this subject, wherever we're going towards, you are feeling pretty good about the subject. And you have made a lot of growth. Um, now, 
this isn't for everybody, I get that, but I just need to say that. It could be a relationship thing where maybe you did things or you went above and beyond constantly. Maybe you were the person that always kept the situation together, kept the situation alive. And now you've gotten to the point where you've realized that's not for me. I don't want to be the person that has to constantly not only direct the wagon and drive the wagon, but fix the wagon and buy the wagon and keep, keep, you know, keep the horses fed and buy new horses and take care of everything and make sure everybody stays in their seat and even put their seat belts on for them. I'm like, for the love of God, do they do anything themselves? Like, <laughs> do they do anything themselves? Um, I don't need to be that person anymore. And I'm like, this is no longer, okay, just because I can do it doesn't mean I want to do it. And I'm getting that from your energy too. Kind of like, yeah, I, obviously I can do it. I've done it. But I don't want to do it. So going into the next situation, like something good enough might make you feel like, well, maybe I still have to drive it and take care of the carriage or care of the wagon and I have to keep up with the things. But at least these people put on their own seatbelts. At least they take care of some of the stuff inside the wagon. At least they're not doing, I don't have to do everything anymore. And I'm getting that is not good enough. You need somebody who can stay up to your level to the sense of like you can switch off any role at any time. Sometimes they're the one driving it forward. Sometimes they're the one fixing the wagon. Sometimes they're the one making sure other people have their seatbelts on. Sometimes you have somebody looking out for you saying, hey, Leo, I think you're a little tired. I can take over so you can do something else and you can get a break. Wouldn't you like a break, Leo? Wouldn't that be great? I almost feel like Leo is constantly going to. Um, I do know some Leos. It just seems like they're constantly working, which kind of surprised me because I thought you guys always made sure that you worked in enough fun. I, I have seen a couple of Leos like that, though, where they, they're they constantly busy, they're constantly going, but it's always work-related. It's always trying to get something done. So I didn't think that was normal for Leo, but let me know in the comments if that's normal for some of you guys to get stuck in this pattern where you're just constantly working, 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 and there's barely any fun because I was kind of shocked with the ones I saw. Um, but either way, in this situation, you're like, I've grown past that. I want that. Don't settle for just, you know, at least they're doing some of it. No, you need somebody who can do just as much as you can so you can switch off every now and then with that person so you can enjoy his life, life as just as much as everybody else. Um, in the environment, you got the masculine and what number is that? The two of wands. Is this coming forward? This is an opportunity coming forward to, for you, but I don't, I think this is the one that doesn't match, which is ironic to me. It's something that's very stuck in whatever it is. It could be a job. I just wanted, that's why I'm saying something. Probably a person could be a job or something like that. Very defined. Very defined. This is what I will do. This is what I won't do. It's just very, this is what it is. You can depend on them for that. And I'm getting the good enough energy again. Oh, that seems good enough. It's better than what I've had. It's not good enough. It's, it's not. Um... Because I'm getting like, there might be a quick decision, kind of like, we can match up. I'll do this, but I won't do anything else. Kind of like somebody, like, I remember the, what's that term? I'll, I, I don't do windows. <laughs> I don't do windows. I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't do this. I don't do windows. I don't take care of kids. I don't take care of animals. I won't do anything with the sidewalks. And I don't do the cellars. It's kind of like, oh, that's a lot you won't do. Yeah, but they do the, everything else really well. So, no, it's not good enough. Um, it comes in very quick, that's the thing. Even though it's very defined, it does come in very quick with this two of wands to either take it or leave it. That's kind of also what I'm getting, like take it or leave it. And I'm getting like, it's nice at first and it seems good at first. Some of you might even go into it, but I feel like you just need to really quickly, quickly decide if it's permanent or not. I can understand a lot of you might go into this, but then within a few months decide, you know what, this isn't permanent. Like, and allow yourself to do that. You know what I mean? Even if you're going to be like, I can understand you going into it, like, I'll just see what happens with it. But once you realize it's not working, I feel like you need to move on from it because I just feel it's restrictive. Even though the Ten of Pentacles is like, it's much more stable, it's much more reliable than what you're used to in this situation, in this category, I'm still getting it's not good enough. And I'm getting like, there's no negotiation ability. I'm getting self-reflection in the environment, kind of like, this is as far as I go. I told you that's where I was going. It's almost like the self-reflection is like, no, it's, I've already told you that's as far. Like, that's what they're reflecting on. Like, no, I, I, I'm telling you, this is, I told you that back there. I'm not going any farther, and I mean it. 
it stabilizes, but it's kind of like, and I, I could trust that it's going to stay where it is, but I still don't feel like this is enough. Um, what is that doing there? This person's going to think you're cutting out on them anyway. The Seven of Swords is like, I feel like this situation, it's better if you see it going into it. It's going to end quickly. Um, this is not good enough. This, I keep getting that. This is not good enough. Seven of Swords is like moving on quickly. Well, sometimes quickly, but just kind of like ditching out. When you're ready to go, I wouldn't worry about it. So maybe for a lot of you, this is just a temporary situation. And maybe that's a big thing here too. Before you get too deep into this, for what it is, since it's temporary anyway, is it even worth it? That's a good question. I think you want. I think they want you to pose that question to yourself. You have that answer. I don't have that answer. If it's going to be temporary anyway, is it even worth it? Is it? It's up to you. Because it is temporary. So why settle for something that's good enough when it's not really going to last anyway? When it's not really the best it could be and it's not going to be permanent? Um, something else is out here for you. And they are telling you if you keep going for just top notch, you want top notch, you want top shelf, whatever you want to call it. I want that, you know, I want that top, I want the first place. I'm not settling for anything else. Um, and it's funny because Leo sometimes, I don't sit, think of them taking second place, but I feel like a lot of times the reason they get first place is because they've, they've created it. And that's what this is also saying, like, we're not looking for a situation for you to create first place. You need a situation that you it's already first place and you're matching with it. Your first place, you need something else that's already also first place and you can combine forces and both be first place together. Um, it's kind of like when I talk to certain, sometimes I've had readings like this where I tell people like, you know, the way I look at love, it's not like who's first, second, third, and fourth. It's like, who's the closest, who means the most, they're in the closest circle, but nobody really oversees anybody or, or, or gets ahead of anybody. It's just like, if somebody's in trouble, that person gets all the attention from that, whoever they're talking about. But it's like, there's no line up. And it's like, I feel like that's what, you want somebody that's in the first, like they're in the first tier, they're in that first energy, they're in that first circle. They're, they need to already match your energy, not where you have to create that, but it's already there. Ace of Cups coming in with Patience is telling me it is there. Somebody or something that's already first level, the same as you, that matches you, that, that you know, complements your energy, that you don't have to pull them forward or help them attain it. You shouldn't have to create first place. It should already be there. I hope that makes sense. Because a lot of times I know Leo does that. You create first place. You're like, well, if it wasn't there, I'll get it there. They're saying that's not good enough. It should already be there so you can build on even further than you thought from that point. And that's what you deserve. Sovereignty and resistance. Now, there's there's a resistance energy here. Because the, whatever the situation is, be it a person or a situation like a job or whatever you, you're looking for, it does already have that first place energy. It definitely does. But it's got sovereignty and resistance. In other words, it doesn't even let people know it's there. It's very selective. It's very careful. It will not waste its time on people who are not already first place. Um, this energy is a little different than you in the sense of like it's not going to be right out there with it. It's not going to let people know that it's there, that it's looking, that it's like trying to figure out who's worth what. It's not going to let people know. You're going to just kind of cross this person's path or the situation's path and you're going to discover that you match it and then the situation or person is going to also see that. Once they realize you match, the resistance is gone. It's kind of like going from the void to literally the unexpected. Like, I don't think you're going to realize that the person you're coming across or the situation you're coming across is first place until it opens up and shows you that it's first place, whether it be a person or a situation. That's why they're saying it's unexpected because this situation that you literally match does not waste its time with people who are on its level which just means like that level of energy, that level of 
uh, getting things done, moving forward for what they want, taking an active role in their own life and making things happen for themselves. They're that same energy you are. They don't waste their time trying to give somebody a chance to prove that they are. They don't have time for that. They need to see it first off, and if they see that first off, then they open up and they will share that they're the same energy. That's what you got going on here. Once they see you for who you are, they will share that, and that's where the match comes in. Um, is there anything else with that? I think we're good. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james the number four, astral at gmail.com. Also, if you're interested, the donation information is listed below. Clearly elective, you know. But thank you for watching either way. Have a good day.